D.C. looks at a new way to track some of its juvenile offenders. I'm Derek Ward, and I'll have details coming up on News 4. GPS technology is nothing new, but there is a new twist to the way it's being used at the D.C. agency that handles juvenile offenders. They're implementing a new system that gives them real-time tracking of the movements and whereabouts of juveniles who are on their watch. This comes as a number of teenagers have committed crimes, some of them violent, while they were under the agency's supervision. Derek Ward has more. It's the same global positioning satellite technology that's in your car, but instead of taking you where you want to go, this application tells D.C.'s Department of Youth Rehabilitation Services if young offenders are going places they aren't supposed to. We get alerts in real time when they're not where they're supposed to be, um, when they're n not where we tell them to be, and um, by utilizing that, we can respond immediately. To try and demonstrate, I was fitted with one of the new GPS anklets. It takes some getting used to, though it's not that uncomfortable. Then I set out downtown to see how it works. Now we put this location in as some place that I'm not supposed to be while wearing this bracelet. I'm going to walk in and we'll show you what would happen. Ideally, a computer message would go out immediately to DYRS personnel, and they could send one of their people or the police to check on the violator. Detailed maps can even graph a person's movements over a given period of time. They also alert and alarm if tampered with or removed, which isn't easy. There was some electronic monitoring, but it was sporadic. The technology wasn't very good. The second thing that was utilized was something called intensive third-party monitoring. We had a third party uh, check on the, the youth uh, two, three times a day, um, but that had limitations. And sometimes limitations can have dire consequences. A high profile multiple shooting in the district earlier this year that left four dead, and the recent shooting in Sherman Circle that left a Catholic University student dead. Suspects in those cases and nearly a dozen others included juveniles under DYRS supervision. It is an important tool that we now have. Derek Ward, News 4.